I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on rate of change application. We are going to use techniques learned in calculus to solve this question. Let me thank my student for posting this question for me. The question is, a girl of height 120 centimeter is walking towards a light on the ground at a speed of 0 0.6 meters per second. Her shadow is being cast on a wall behind her that is 5 meters from the light. How is the size of the shadow changing when she is 1.5 meters from the light? So let's make a sketch to represent the situation. Let's say that's the wall and uh, let's say this is the ground, right? Let's say this is the ground. And what we have here is that uh, there's some light here and let's say the shadow falls on the wall and uh, let us say that the girl whose height is 120 centimeters is right there now she's walking towards the light so let me call this distance as x the distance given from the source of light to the wall is 5 meters since we we can work in centimeters right so 5 meters could be written as 500 centimeters right so that becomes uh, the distance from the wall so all units will be in centimeters x is from uh, the position of the girl to this place right <coughs> now the height is 120 centimeters a girl of height 120 centimeters walking towards a light of on the ground at a speed of so that is rate of change of x so we can say dx dt that is the speed right is equal to 0 0.6 meters per second now since the distance is decreasing as the girl walks towards light, we should take this as a negative value. Since we are taking everything in centimeters, I'll multiply this by 100. So what we get here is 60 negative, of course, centimeters per second as dx dt. The rate of change of position of the girl with respect to light. And that's the horizontal position. Her shadow is being cast on the wall behind her, that is 5 meters, that is 500 centimeters from the light. How is the size of shadow changing when she is 1.5 meters from the light? So let's say that's the height we're talking about and this height is changing. We want to find rate of change of the height at the instance when she is 150 centimeters 150 so let's say this distance is 150 at this time we are interested in finding the rate of change of height so i hope the diagram is absolutely clear now important thing to remember is that height of the girl remains changed uh, unchanged right it's always same so if you look at a moment before this instance what do you find is that you, you know that could be the situation do you see that where the girl is so much away so what really changes is the angle so as the girl approaches the light the angle changes and so the shadow on the wall actually increases do you see that increase we need to find that when girl is 150 centimeters away what is the rate of change of height so we could do it if we could work on this angle theta because as the girl approaches that angle changes distance to the wall remains same height of the girl remains same right two things which are changing are x distance from source of light to the girl and the angle that makes a huge difference and so what I've decided here is to write equations in terms of theta, right? Now, <laughs> whatever may be the position of the girl, 
we could say tan theta this angle is equal to 120 over x the distance from the source of light tan theta is 120 over x right since that is the height of the girl on the other hand we have another situation which relates h right so h is changing with the angle so the other situation here is let me write it here as tan theta equals to h over 500 the distance from light source to the wall so h over 500 do you see that i mean i wanted to write 5 okay so h over 500 so we'll work with these two equations one is the same angle but we are checking with the height of the girl the other same angle but shadow on the wall you get the point so if i take the derivative of these functions what do i get derivative of tan theta is secant square theta now some of my students especially the one who has asked this question they haven't done derivative of trigonometric functions that makes it difficult but you will see in the solution that uh, uh, it really cancels out so so it's a technique of doing things which is important here and understanding the concept angle theta changes and that makes a huge difference okay let's continue so if i differentiate with respect to time then what do i get so i get derivative of tan theta uh, so okay so we are doing d dt of tan theta and d dt of 120 over x now derivative of tan theta is secant square theta okay you just have to remember that now since theta is another variable we'll apply the chain rule so we get d theta dt correct equals to derivative of 120 over x you can treat this as x to the power of minus 1 so we get minus 120 x to the power of minus 2 that is x square right now times dx dt correct dx dt so we have differentiated with respect to time okay we know dx dt which is minus 60 we know x at this instance of time is 150 so so we can always find secant square theta d theta dt now let's differentiate this part also so doing the same thing here we do get secant square theta d theta dt derivative of left side is same as what we saw here with respect to time we get dh dt right so we have 1 over 500 dh dt do you see that it's very important to understand that in both the equations which we are working simultaneously on each side of this line uh, you know we have secant square d theta dt as the term okay now if i cross multiply i get 500 times secant square theta d theta dt as equal to dh dt do you get it so that is what we are interested in how is the size of shadow changing when she is 1.5 meters from the light so basically we want to find what happens when x equals to 1.5 meters do you see that dh dt is all this now as you can see we already know what this term is this term is right there secant square theta d theta dt is nothing but in terms of x minus 120 over x square dot dx dt perfect so so which i could calculate substituting dx dt as equal to minus 60 so i get minus 120 over let me write x square first and this as minus 60 right so dx dt is minus 60 at x equals to 1.5 we want to find what is rate of change of height 
okay at x equals to 1.5 meters or 150 centimeters does make sense to you now this is equals to 500 times 500 times this is this 500 ds dt is 500 times all this all this is that so i could really multiply by multiply by this factor do you see that this factor does it make sense to you so i'm not actually using calculator at the moment since you can see we can do it easily later right so we have 120 times 60 minus minus became plus and x is 150 for us so i'll write this as 150 square so that's our answer you see that so even if you don't know what is tan theta derivative it doesn't make a difference it cancels out so that's why you could always adopt this solution it's very neat uh, way of doing it let's calculate this number right use calculator so we have 500 let's multiply times 120 times 60 right all this divided by 150 square right and that gives us 160 so we get this as 160 what are the units centimeters per second so don't think much about it centimeters per second that is how you could get your answer so i hope the solution is straightforward and uh, and very easy to understand so the idea is we kind of work with simultaneous equations we wrote two equations in terms of theta one for the position of the girl the other with respect to the wall and we figured it out that the rate of change of position with respect to the girl and that with respect to the wall is 500 times since that is 500 away right so so that is how we got our result you could also go with similar triangles and do it but that could be more complicated this is i think a very simple and straightforward solution and i hope you appreciate it so do give me a feedback if you understand it otherwise i'll try to solve it in a different way i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos if you like put some likes and feel free to post questions thank you and all the best